Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. And if you're new to the channel, my name is James and you're watching Wonderful World. And if I were to say the words ferocious beast, most people would think of something like a lion or a tiger or a grizzly bear or a crocodile. But if there was one animal in my reptile room that truly is a ferocious beast, it would be my American bullfrog Lucille. And I haven't shown Lucille much lately on the channel, so I thought today I'd do a quick update video on how he's doing. Lucille lives in this 50-gallon paludarium. About nine months ago, I did a kind of makeover on this paludarium and put in all the moss and some rabbit's foot ferns. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link to it in the corner. I've learned that for whatever reason, I'm not good at keeping moss alive. The moss has pretty much died, but the ferns have been doing really well. So for now, I've left that alone. But I suppose that means it's about time for me to make another trip to the woods to gather some moss. This paludarium does take a little bit of work though. I do water changes on it about every three to four weeks and Lucille splashes around quite a bit and can make a mess of the glass. So I'm always having to clean that. But as a bioactive paludarium, it's been pretty self-sufficient aside from that. I occasionally have to remove some uneaten crickets or roaches, but it's not been difficult to keep it fresh and clean. Lucille is just a little bit over a year old. I gave him a girl's name because I thought he was a girl, but then the croaking started and I knew he was a boy, but I kept the name. When I first got him, he was a little baby that had just morphed from the tadpole stage and he was so cute. And now he's huge. I love frogs and have kept quite a few different frogs. And even though there are videos out there that show frogs appearing to be friendly and socialized, I think some of those videos are made to just appear that way. I don't believe any frogs can be socialized. They are some of the most deeply instinctive creatures that exist. And Lucille epitomizes that. He is a very shy and skittish animal, and if my hand even gets close to him, he will completely freak out. And he has a mouth full of sharp teeth. It's been interesting to see how Lucille's behavior has changed as he's grown into an adult frog. As a baby and juvenile, Lucille spent a large majority of his time in the water and only occasionally came up on the land. But as an adult, he spends almost all of the daytime sleeping in his favorite spot on the land, which is behind the ferns in the back left corner of the paludarium, and then ventures down to the water at night where he spends most of the nighttime in the water. In the wild, American bullfrogs will eat just about anything they can fit in their mouths, including insects and frogs, small rodents, small snakes, and fish. I mostly feed Lucille large crickets and large dubia roaches. Occasionally, I'll put about a half a dozen bass minnows in the water, and over the course of a week, he'll eat those. And here's a shot of feeding Lucille a frozen thawed fuzzy mouse.
Lucille will start croaking at any random moment. It might be in the middle of the day or in the evening or in the middle of the night. The croaking only lasts for about a minute, but it's incredible how loud it can be. Sometimes it just makes Jeannie and I laugh. I've really tried to get him croaking on video, but that's been nearly impossible. I really want to see what his chin looks like when he's croaking. So maybe one of these days I'll get lucky and catch that on video. So would I say that the American Bullfrog makes a good pet? Well, this would be one that's not for everyone. They need a very large enclosure with both water and land, so you would need to learn how to build and maintain a paludarium. And even this 50-gallon aquarium, I think, is starting to seem like a minimum size for him. He eats a lot, so the amount of feeder crickets and roaches you have to buy is a lot for an adult bullfrog. And they are definitely not the type of pet that you can handle or interact with in any way. But with all this said, they are beautiful and even mysterious at times, having such independent and energetic personalities. They are very much a primal kind of animal. And as adults, they are much more of a predatory beast than most people would think. So I hope you enjoyed catching up with Lucille. If you did, give me a like and please consider subscribing to the channel. And until the next video, I look forward to seeing you again soon.